I have strep throat, so I should be in bed. I should be resting. I should be watching the uh, late night feature on Skidamax um, with my lotion and tissues and my usual uh, yeah, forever alone, whatever. Uh, but this is the last day that I think I'll be having this camera because tomorrow my actual new awesome HD whatever camera should be coming. So I'm going to try to make this video a good one because this is uh, uh, th this camera and I have been through some good times. Many good times, many uh, <laughs> um, showings. Uh, that, that's for a different time though. Anyway, let's try to make this a good video. Um, I was talking to a buddy yesterday. He had been cheated on a week uh, before. And he was hurt. He was still down and he was still very dejected and wondering, you know, what he did that was so wrong that made her do this. Uh, it turns out that she had told him very recently that if he hadn't have been the way that he was, she probably wouldn't have had to go and find somebody else to confide in. Now, admittedly, this guy was not always the best boyfriend. He was never abusive. He, he was never, you know, emotionally or physically abusive. He was never hurtful. He always made sure she was taken care of. But admittedly, even he would admit he's, he wasn't the best boyfriend. I mean, whenever she had problems, he didn't have the best answers. He didn't have the best solutions. Sometimes he could be um, an asshole, you know? Sometimes he could. But he told me, maybe she has a point. Maybe if I had been a little bit more emotionally available, maybe if I'd been better, maybe if I could have given her what the guy she cheated on me with gave her, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe we'd still be together. And, uh, get that shit out of here. This is for all of you that have ever cheated on anybody. I don't care how much remorse you feel. I don't care how much guilt you feel. I don't care if you don't care about it. You need to hear this. There is absolutely no excuse to cheat on somebody. And I'm not going to try to be the golden boy and say, oh, I, I, I could never see myself cheating on anybody. Oh, it's so wrong. You're going to hell if you cheat. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has their flaws, but it's what we make of those flaws that amounts to who we are. It, it's like this. If you are trying to find justification for cheating on somebody, you do not belong in a relationship. Just go find a fuck buddy. Go find a friend with benefits, preferably one with a few STDs, because you do not belong in a relationship. You do not belong in a position where you can hurt another human being's life like that and make them feel down and sad and dejected and make them think that they were so flawed that you had to go and cheat on them. You are a coward if you do this. You are a spineless coward. If you have a problem with somebody, if you have a problem with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, tell them. Let them know, because once you tell them and let them know, guess what happens? Progress. Things can ameliorate. Things things could get better. But what happens if you just, just go find somebody else who can give you what you need emotionally or physically? Nothing happens. You end up feeling shame, guilt, remorse. Or sometimes you don't feel bad at all. But whatever the case, nothing happens at all. If you actually have the balls to talk to your boyfriend or girlfriend and say, here, this is what we need to work on. This is what we need to fix. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. If you sit there and try to justify the fact that you had to go find somebody else to make you feel good while you still had this guy over here on your arm, you're a failure as a human being. You are a failure as a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and you simply should not be in a relationship ever again until you change your line of reasoning. Period. It's that simple. And I couldn't even believe my friend was starting to buy this crap. Starting to buy that maybe he deserved to be cheated on. Deserved to wake up one night and go into the other room and see his girlfriend in bed with another guy. It, that, that, that's, that's reprehensible. And, and, and this girl, for, for all intents and purposes, the girl in question that I'm talking about, she's one of the worst people on the face of this earth. Even before this happened, I knew that one day this kind of stuff would happen. But guy, girl, does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. It is absolutely spineless to have to go and cheat on somebody. If you have a problem with them, talk about them because we all have flaws. When you're in a relationship, the, the, the guy you're across from, the girl you're across from, doesn't matter. Eventually, there are going to be some flaws that come up. Eventually, you're going to find something you don't like. It is how you handle that that amounts to what your relationship will be. It is how you handle those with maturity and class intact that amounts to what your relationship will be. 
If, if Joey's doing something that you don't like, well, talk about it. And ask him, you know, why he does it. The, the mutual component is what keeps the relationship together. Not running off with, with uh, Vinny at the freaking boardwalk and giving him head underneath the freaking pier, okay? That's not what helps your relationship. Uh, I don't care what Jersey Shore tells you. Have some balls. Progress comes from communication and discussing the problems we have with one another. It is that simple. Anyway, I'm going to go take my antibiotic and be forever alone some more. And, oh, no, no. Th th this whole thing was not about me. No, it wasn't me. I have been cheated on in the past, but this wasn't about it. This really was not about me. I'm absolutely serious. But uh, I'm just forever alone anyway. And I'm fine with that. But I'm going to go. And hopefully my new camera will be here tomorrow. Oh, have a good day.